How are we doing, everybody? Hola. Welcome to another episode of Getting Jiggly With It. I'm Will. And Madri. And what are we playing today? We're playing hamsters versus hippos. Hippos versus hamsters. That is what we are playing. Hippos I, versus hamsters. Hamsters versus hippos. Hamster, that's what I said. I know that's what you said. I said it backwards. Well, they are versus each other. They're versus each other. <laughs> so this is a game that is currently up on Kickstarter. We did an unboxing a while ago. Uh, I will say that, you know, Tin Robot was really good. We actually got our uh, hamster situation fixed because somehow we had two blue hamsters and I don't think we had a yellow hamster. So luckily we got that fixed. So Abdi now has a yellow hamster and I have a little white hamster here. So in Hamsters vs. Hippos, if you want to see a how to play, I imagine there's plenty of other content creators who created that. We don't do how to play videos. We do how not to play videos. But I'm guaranteed we're going to make a rules mistake. So this is just an overview of the game uh, and us playing it for the first time um, so that we guys can get a feel of what the game is. So in Hamsters vs. Hippos, you have all of these wonderful tiles. And in some of these wonderful tiles, there are going to be these hippos. So right now we have one hippo out here, maybe, or maybe the hippo is still in these tiles that didn't get laid, um, but you're going to move your hamster around through uh, the pond and we want to escape the zoo, but we're getting distracted by all these beautiful, beautiful lotus flowers. So as you flip over tiles, some of them are going to have us move, some of them are going to have us jump around, some of them are going to have us um, plop through, maybe it didn't hold our weight, so we plop through. Uh, different things can happen. It's kind of a press your luck game where you're trying to get as many lotus flowers per round as you can and then get off of the uh, lily pads. So on your turn, uh, you can take two actions. So one action is moving and you can move any direction. And then the other action that you can take is basically choosing to leave the pond completely. Um, so now for us, uh, it's a two player game. So we're playing the five by five map. I think I set that up right. Yes, yeah, so a five by five map. Uh, if you play a larger player count, because this does go up to six players, uh, you can see there you have a bigger player size. And then we have here, these are all the tiles that you have. So you can see you have like the uh, hippo tile, you have a spring tile, uh, a peak, or you can look under another tile, blank, nothing happens. Uh, lotus one, so the different lotus ones are gonna have different points, so you have uh, one lotus, two lotus, or three lotuses. Uh, and then the splash that I mentioned, you fell through your lily pad. So of course you just are out of the round, but luckily you don't lose all of your lotuses uh, like you would if you find the hippo. Now the way you choose who goes first is something in the rule books and we never go by that of course. We go by this a thing in here. What is this thing a thing in here? The 20 dice, the extra life for Supporting Children's Miracle Network. Or Children's Miracle Network. Uh, so, of course, game day 2020 is, or we're in 2020. That was last year. I want to be back in the past, although I don't want 2020. No, no, 2020 no. was not a good year. All right. 2020 20, didn't exist. But it is a good year. That's when we get married. Oh, it's a very good year. It's a very good year. <laughs> uh, but we are supporting game day Extra Life Charities uh, 2021, November 6th and 7th. If you would like to have a chance to win this game, this exact game, not this exact game, this is a prototype. If you want to win a Kickstarter pledge, uh, then you want to come out to us game day where we'll be playing this game again, as well as other games by Tin Robot, uh, and you will have a chance to win those games as well. Uh, follow us on social medias to know when we go live. Uh, for that, if you would like to donate to Children's Miracle Network uh, and Extra Life, we always have a link down below. With that said, would you like to be even or odd? Odd. You are an odd one. Dos. Dos is even. So two is even. So we'll put our extra life die down here because it is the star of the show. And I guess I get to go first. Um, I'm going to go here. So I go there and I flip over the tile and I am already out of the round. Because you fell. <sighs> I fell through. So if you get knocked out own your first round this is something that's not in the rules that they did change uh you get a consolation prize of three lotuses however since that was my first turn i'm wondering if we should just scratch that and do it over draw a new tile because because uh, well i mean basically it's just gonna be you going around the board until you decide to <laughs> uh get off the board <laughs> uh, but okay so we're gonna we're gonna mulligan that uh we're gonna mulligan that one uh board game binge says not out uh turn just stops i thought it says you are out oh, okay you you lose any okay splash you fell off the lily pad and turn oh. is immediately over you lose only 
Dang it, I was trying to steal these three, three lilies. All right, I was stealing. All right, so my turn is immediately over. I don't get to take uh, the second action. All right, so I mean, it is Oddity's turn, so you get to go. Swing here. So you get to move twice or move all on your second action. You're going to go there. This is going to your starting one. Okay. We'll go ahead and flip that over. Oh, you get a peek. So you get to peek under one other tile to see what's under there. Uh, but you don't want to let me see what's under there. Any, any? Well, mm, one of the adjacent edges. tile. Adjacent okay, tile. Sometimes. Board game page is laughing. Don't laugh at me. I was trying to I was trying to get out of the game early. I was gonna make this like the shortest live stream ever. Can I see that? <laughs> can I see that? Yes, you can see that you can see the cheat sheet. Um so I don't know if they're gonna have more like uh player aids, that would be helpful. So okay, I saw what it is in there and then what? Now you could take your section action. So you can either move or you can leave the pond. I don't think you wanna leave the pond yet. You don't have any lily. Now here you can go and get the uh flowers. Uh, just by going there so you can get if you go there you automatic you get to pick that lotus flower up but then you got to flip that one over i think we put these two close together oh, he's sad. oh he said oh what that means that? that you have to drop your little your lotus uh lose a lotus or turn one point uh what you have collected this round back to the general supply so mm -hmm. you just got that one and you have to already return it back mm -hmm. oh we, even with our angle cam, see, we're looking at doing whether we want to do straight overhead cam or keep an angle cam. I've got two cams coming in. Uh, the angle, you can kind of see the meeple, but I still can't say that you see them any any better. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so I'm going to go this one. Woohoo! That's a big boy. I get three. That's a three. Pick up three lotus points from the supply. Por favor. Uno, dos, tres. Now, these are not claimed until the end of the round. So, these don't get claimed oh, until the end of the round. Yet. Those aren't mine yet. All right. I get to take a second action. So, I will go here. Gives me this one. You said okay. you can move one or two. One or oh. two. Oh. oh. That is your hip -hop. Well, and here's the thing. We know there's only one hippo. So, because I, I didn't put them both in there, I think this is why you're supposed to put both hippos in there. So, basically, you can you have free reign to go all over the board now. You basically can go in every single square and collect every single lotus. You're, this is going to be a runaway, um, runaway game now. You get one lotus for that one. And this one? Because you, cause you walked on it? Yeah, you get the one you walked on, and then you get this one for going on that tile. Really, there's almost, oh, oh now you do lose it. one. So, yeah, all right, so you got to throw one away. So I guess you could still lose some. So there's still, a, you could still lose some of these. So the question is how, can I go? Now you cannot go back on a tile that's already flipped. So you want to make sure you don't lock yourself out from, well, you can't lock yourself out because you just pull yourself out. Uh, four hippos in total, two are out. It's possible there are two there. I'm going to say, no, it's not because I, I, I misread that. Uh, and I left three out because it said at the beginning of each round you add one more, so uh, one two, more hippo. Uh, that one is worth two. Okay. I'm, sorry, no. uh, it does. If they're going to come apart, I think it's. Better. I did lock my. No. No. Remember, you can always just completely leave as well. But if you don't want to, if you don't, if you don't want me to, if you don't want to risk it, if I know that you got the hippo, why wouldn't I just continue and do it? I I don't know. There really is no there's really no purpose for you not to keep going if you want to keep going. It just means I have to hope that you get hit by a hippo very quickly. <laughs> happy. What does that mean? That's the end of that turn, which doesn't matter because it's still your turn. He's not happy. He fell in the water. But he looks happy. He does look happy. He likes water. Maybe he likes the water, you're right. He likes swimming. Peak. Uh peak, so you get to peek under one. That? Is it uh, if you hit a splash card, you're done. Well, she's done, but I can't go because I'm kind of out you the can game. Go there, it says, you. nope, you're done. Splash, you fell off a lily pad. Your turn is immediately over. You lose any unused actions. Well, yeah, her turn is, but now it's her turn again. 
it just keeps being her turn because she's the only one left in the game. So, so now what? I picked the... Just, the, the, the well, no, the these, you, if you want to find more, you can keep finding more or you can leave. So, if I leave, we just start again? If you leave, so then you we just start again. Okay, yeah. Leave. All right. Father's gonna be nice. I'm just gonna leave. She's gonna get all of, all of her. This one was that I lose it. I no, lose no, no, no. No, don't... I returned one. Where is this one? This one's lose one. That's peak. That you get to look under the other ones. I didn't do that. What do you mean you didn't do that? You did do that. No, I did. Oh, you did it over one. here. Yeah. So if you put one back, you get to take it back. All right. So we have to mix all these up again. All right. We're gonna throw the hippo back in. There's another hippo in there now. There's two hippos now. I need all the tiles. All of the tiles, they all need mixed up. I don't remember where the hippo was. He's he's in here somewhere. Somebody else at home is probably one of the, you know, they're good at the uh, acorn game. Uh, if you're the last player, you stop the round if you hit the splash card. Did I miss that? Um, round is over. Round is over. Two hippo cards are revealed. Any player on the pool spawn time immediately lose the round. All players scored Lotus. Mm. Players finish current round. Once the current round ends, move the collected. No, it's not there either. Only one player remains in the pond and reveals a splash. Okay, so the turn ends. Gotcha. It's right there. It's not under the ending the round. It's right above the ending the round. Okay. Um. Okay. Where where are you at? Uh, where am I at? Uh, yeah. Where's the hippos? You think that was shuffled up enough? No. I have no clue where the hippo is. <laughs> And again, I knew we were going to make some mistakes because, uh, you know, we play these usually the first time uh, on stream. What what order do you want to put them in? Doesn't matter? No. All right. So here you go. So we're going to do another five by five grid. Four, five, six. Here, I'll grab some off that one. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 15, 16, 17, which pile? This pile is higher. <laughs> All right. Go. Wow, you were, I figured you'd already be done by now. Oh? I was doing it that quick. Why couldn't you? I'm slower. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I'm trying to build another row. All right. And then you put the lotuses in the middle five. One, two, three, or the middle nine. Yeah. All right, and then play continues in turn order. So you went last, so then I get to go first. I'm going to start on this one this time. Oh, nothing that's happens. nothing happens. Um, I'm going to go here. So I don't get that one yet. So put the ones you've gained on your player card so you know that you've gained those ones. Those you've gained I from the first gained. round. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so those go on your player card. So you know you gained them. And then I get one for landing on the lily. Okay. So now it's your turn. It's happy. So that is the spring, spring pad. Uh, on your next move, it must be a lily pad two pads away. So, and you can, of course, go diagonal too. So it would have to be one, two, one, two. One, two. All right. So you pick that one up. I'm going to go here. Oh, you get to take one from me. Why are you always stealing from me? I thought I was playing the thief this week. <laughs> Although you always steal the, the game components. Don't give me the blinky, the blinky cute eyes. All right. All right. All right. So I'm going to go here. Safe Nothing again. Happens. Nothing happens. Um, I'm going to go here. And I get Uno. Gonna make a comeback. You're gonna get the. You're gonna get the. Uh, the hippo this time. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, <gasps> you get three. That's a triple. That's the big blue star lotus. So three for Audrey. Tres para Audrey, and then you get to move again. Oh, did one. Oh, stop stealing my. <laughs> You don't need any more. You had the run of the board the last game. 
It's like now I kind of have to stay out here as long as possible. All right. <sighs> Goes into the supply. All right, I'm gonna go here. All right, I get one. <laughs> Why was there no lotus on there? Oh, I already took it, didn't I? Okay. Now it's your turn. Can I move two? No. Three. No. No, it's move one, move one, but you can't go on a tile you've already moved on. Oh. So that is a two. I think I think when you set this up, it's probably better to leave. See, like they got in the picture a little bit of a gap. I don't think you wanted to cram yeah. them all together. All right, so that was your one move. And remember, your other move can either be a move to a tile or to leave the pond. If you think you have enough. <gasps> oh. oh, that's a peak. So you get to peek under an adjacent. That's the only adjacent. So you can look at that tile. I'll close my eyes. With my fingers halfway open. Oh. No, I said peek. Oh. You're just supposed to kind of look so at it to see what it is, it. to see whether or not yeah. you wanted to go that way. You saw it. So. That's fine. I can't get down there anyways. That's fine. I can't get down there anyways. All right. No, where am I? There? You're there. So basically, you know, in your next turn, you're gonna if you decide to. I'm leaving. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I get three. Oh no! Hippo! No hippo! No hippo! That's safe. Uh, now the question is, how mo how much longer do I stay? Because you've got you've got like double double the lotus petals to me. I leave. And Adri leaves, so you get to bank all of your. All of your lotus flowers. Lotus. What do I do? Do I do I risk it? Uh, she can move diagonally. Oh yeah, you can move diagonally as well. So you could have moved here. But lo siento. Are you sure you want to leave and not go there? You're good. I forgot about the diagonal. Yeah, we keep forgetting about diagonal. Told We're so, us, but we I know he told us, and I read it, and I knew you could go diagonal. And I think I told you you could go diagonal, but I keep forgetting diagonal because most no, games are I just. just most games are just orthogonal, mm -hmm. so it's it's very uncommon when you have a game that lets you go diagonal. All right, so I'm go here. No hippo, no hippo. I'm going to go here. Splash. That is the end of my turn. Now I'm the only one out here, so that is the end of the round. That round went a little bit quicker, so that goes back in the supply. All the tiles come back. This is where like, so I got a game called Zoo Tiles, Zoo Tile Hime, and we're gonna play that hopefully here in the next couple weeks. I keep having to push it off due to life and other things, but there's actually sleeves. I didn't know they actually make sleeves, square sleeves that can fit tile games like this. So it would actually be kind of good to, like if you could sleeve these, uh, there's another hippo going in. Uh, I don't wanna see where he went. Doing? I we're shuffling we're just shuffling we just have to shuffle the tiles because uh, i threw another hippo in there and I, I i think i have lost the hippo i have no clue where the hippo is anymore all right so here we go put all, put, all, put all the tiles over here and then i'm going to start handing you tiles what do you need 25 three four five. when are you at five no six one five. two three six Seven, eight, no, six? No. Nine, ten. always five. Yeah, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Space in between? Uh, sure, why not? 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I think that's 25. If it is not, oh, well, we have more tiles over here. Uh, is that going to be on the camera? Let's move them just a little bit then if we're going to put some space in between them. They're not going to stay straight, so it doesn't matter. All right, so I went last, so we continue with turn order, which means that you go first this time. Uh, they have to start in, uh, in one of the edges. Yeah, you have to. Oh, we forgot the oh. lotuses in the middle. And then on a six player game, I think it's like. Oh, it's the same number in a six player game, so it takes longer to get into the middle. Come on. 
All right, you get to make your second action. Ah, oh, sneaky, sneaky. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. I'm going to start up here at the top corner. I get to steal one of yours. From here? From your, yeah, I'm stealing it from, from you. here. See, see, see. From, from this not, already that's there. already captured. That's already yours. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go at an angle. And splash. So, well, that's the end of my turn anyway, so it didn't matter. Okay. Mm. The one for you. What do you got? Nothing Safe. Happens. Nothing happens. Okay. This one? No, you two actions. You always get two actions. Mm -hmm. In game one. Uh, let me go here. Um, I think I have to put one back. Uh, move one Lotus token from an adjacent card to another. Oh, okay. Um, can I move it to the one-on-one? -on -one? I don't think I can. That would make sense. All right, so I'm just gonna put, <laughs> I'm gonna put this over here where you aren't then. Uh. Was that my first? Yeah, because that's a stop. That was my first on this turn. Then I come over here and take this that I just moved. Ooh, that was a good one. Triple. So I lay, I made mine start standing up because you had yours standing up, and then I start standing mine up, and you're laying yours down. So I do the same. So you do the same. You move one from one tile to another one. But it basically it's. I guess if you knew that there was a like a hippo underneath of one of them, so then you could move it off. If you're going to go to that one, yeah, then you just capture oh. it. Uh, there's Any what it says adjacent tile. Yeah, so there's you're not that's not adjacent. Yeah. But I stop there. All right. Um, I don't want to go that way because I'll get stuck. Mm, I'll go here. Ooh. So this one's a nice game too. We like we like language independent games. This is a very nice game because it's very yeah. language independent. So this is something Audrey will be able to take down to her family in Colombia and they'll be able to play with her. So that's actually really cool. We'll always look for language independent games. You two actually No, that was my first. Um So I want to go again. Well, what, does it does it look like from this shadow on this lily pad does it look like there's a hippo under there? Okay, I'm gonna go anyways. Bye-bye, <laughs> 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 Lotus Flowers. Oh, oh man. I was like, y'all want to go again. Uh, this will be in six languages. So this will the game itself, the rule book will be in six different languages. Oh. Oddly speaks three of them, so we should be pretty good then. I got one round. There's no way I'm coming back on a final round. <laughs> I pick, I pick one. Yeah, you get to peek under. Now again, there could be more hippos out there. I have no idea anymore. Because there's there? three, there's three total hippos either in the combination oh, okay. somewhere. There's three hippos. So that was my one. Yeah. Yeah. One. one. Okay. And then well, you've kind of, oh no, you didn't trap yourself. You can go down this way if you want to keep going. Where do you want to just leave? Just one Cause more. just one more. Okay, that, that's that's how it is. It's it's oh it's, it's like oh, just one more, just one more, just one more time, just one more, just one more, just one more. <laughs> what am I must know. Oh, and you get a load. I stop. I stop. Okay. All right. Well, it's still your turn because I can't go. So you can just pull them, <laughs> take your take your little hamster back and claim your rewards. Do you want to see if there was another one out here? No, we don't want to see if there's another one out here. All right. So no, we don't. No, you don't have to. Okay. So we need to start shuffling them again. I guess I should have done this. This would have been the easier shot. Whoop! You didn't see that. No, I didn't. <laughs> I really didn't. Right. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Oops, hang on. I forgot to put the last uh, hippo in. Come back. Come back. Everybody come back. I'm missing a hippo. 
Me enseñe hipo. Uno más. How do you say hippopotamus in Espanol? Hipopotamo. Hipopotamo. Hipopo. Hipopo. <laughs> Tamo. Tamo. Ta. Tamo. Hipopotamo. Hipopotamo. <laughs> in, in francés? I don't know. What? I just bragged that you knew three languages. <laughs> I think. I don't know how many hippos are in there. There could be a lot, there could be a little. Don't know. We appreciate Board Game Binge for coming out and making sure that we're following the rules. We need more people to come out and make sure that we follow the rules when we play games. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Game day, we definitely need people to come out and make sure we follow the rules. Because after after two 13-hour streams, I imagine on the uh, Sunday, we're going to be like really tired. And, and making muchos mistakes. And making mucho mistakes. And I would almost guarantee Lotuses, poor football. I would almost guarantee that we're going to, I think we've got some of the harder games on Sunday night. I don't know why I did that, but I Ryan, think- Why did you do that? I think, I think we do. Uh, hang on, do I still have Instagram up? Who went last? You went last, so I go first? Let me see, let me see if I can remember. I'm not pulling up Instagram. I have, a, I have all the images on my hard drive. I left, I, I left, so I was last. It is your turn. Yes, so. Uh, let me see. Let me let me see. I want to. I want to see what we're doing Sunday night. So for reference, uh, we will be playing the ten robot games at twelve o'clock on Sunday afternoon, so twelve p.m. And we will be playing. Oh, Wolf Walkers. Wolf Walkers is our closeout game for Sunday night. That's not hard. We played that. Uh, now Papillon and Almanac. Almanac might be a little bit harder, and that's our five o'clock. I put five a.m. Oh, uh, I told you, remember we were talking uh, about this, how like you mess up and you don't even realize it until it's too late. So I hope somebody realizes that, but if not, we'll have the reminders up. And then you, oh no, yeah, the first well, one. Well, no, the first one is 9 a.m. Yeah, yeah, man, that's me messing up. Yay for me. We can get up at 5 a.m. Can... and play the game <laughs> and then go back to sleep. Go back to sleep till, till 10, 9 p.m. on Sunday. Um, I'm going to start. This, that wasn't good for me. This wasn't good for me because both times I hit the hippo. Um, I'm going to start way up here. Okay, so that's safe. I'm going to go right here. And I get dos. How do you say lotus in Spanish? Loto. Loto. How do you say it in Frances? I stop. I, I guess, it's, so this is the same as me learning Spanish. You, these are words that you would not ever learn unless you no, had a reason to learn I it. maybe I have and I just don't practice. My sister will be very disappointed. What's up? <laughs> What's up? You're supposed to be speaking French. She's supposed to be speaking English. And splash. That means that is the end of tu terno. Okay. He's happy. He's happy. He's happy. He likes the water. He likes to go yeah. for a swim. So that is a safety. I think I'll go to this one. <laughs> Bella wasn't happy about that. <laughs> Bella wasn't happy about that at all. She's like, Papa hit three hippos. That's game. There's no point in you continuing. I win? Uh, yeah. What? It's, this is, oh, speaking of hippopotamus and I win. Remember Big Daddy? No. Big Daddy, the one with the... Um, uh, what's the name of the kids? The kids, the sweet life of Zach and Cody, the two little kids. He was a little kid in Big Daddy with um, Adam Sandler. And Adam Sandler gets him and he's his dad and he's trying uh, to raise him. And he's trying to teach the one, he's trying to teach him to read. And he gives uh, the other guy uh, hip hop, hip hop bananas. Uh, yes, so it's hippopotamus. Yes, yes, yes. And then the, the, what's the name of this game? I win. I win. <laughs> <laughs> so that actually worked out well. But there you go, guys. That is a preview of. I win. Hamsters versus hip yeah, so this is a preview of the game called I Win, in which <laughs> Audrey always wins. Uh, Hamsters versus Hippos, which again is up on Kickstarter. We will also be playing it, like I said, one game day 2020. Um, I forget what time I said. I think it's noon, right? I said we're playing their games at noon on Sunday. Uh, if you'd like to win a copy of this game, then you want to come out to the live stream, be in the live stream, 
and that'll put you into the drawing to get a copy of this game as well as many other games that we'll be doing during the Extra Life Game Day. Um, if you have any comments, concerns, or criticisms, don't leave them here. Go, go somewhere. No, no, you guys can leave them here. Go over to the Kickstarter campaign. Uh, leave some comments there. Uh, the publisher is very willing to talk about his great game. Uh, anything from you? I like it so much. <laughs> she likes it it's so much. It's so cute. It's so and cute. It's, and, and what is this called? Um, it's within your, your age level. <laughs> <laughs> My brain age. Your brain age. Brain but age. it is like... Like you want to go more, but you know your risk. So I get nervous, but I want to see, and I don't want to see at the same time. <laughs> yeah. So that, that's a press your luck game. So I think this is our first press your luck game. Uh, but there we go, guys. Uh, as always, do the things that YouTube requires you to do to make this video show up on the algorithm. Make sure you hit that like. Make sure you hit the subscribe bell notification to know when we go live because all of our gameplays are live. But until next time, guys. Adios. Peace. <laughs>